want to be taxed more. The Home Depot uh, co-founders were with me saying they're nuts. And they said, you know, tax us more. What do you think of that? Well, um, they trust the government more than I do. Right. Um, I can't tell you how much money we've given away. My foundation actually has given away over $2 billion. I would rather give it away than have some congressman give it away. I have no trouble paying more taxes, provided it's used to redeem the futures of the young people today. What the hell am I doing? What's Bernie doing getting Social Security? We shouldn't get a check. Fix it. Make that happen. All right, liberal commentator, radio host Ethan Berman on all of this. Ethan, what do you think? This is interesting because I, I, I mean, Social Security already is means tested, but that was a call for an even stronger and more stringent means testing. I actually totally support that. However, this idea that um, uh, that a billionaire can always have the better answer of what to do with money neglects the fact that the other 99 percent of us have ideas, too, and they might not always be in a line. It, look, uh, Congress has a lot of ideas. The Democratic candidates have a lot of really good ideas. I think Beto O'Rourke's idea on the war tax is actually something I've been advocating for for a long time so we can make sure to take care of people when they come home from a war zone but billionaires do not always have the answers and they shouldn't be the ones who decide everything for everybody else that's why we left Europe in the well, aristocracy. I don't think you have to worry about them deciding the, the tax tune here but uh, Ethan I do wonder the creativity I see in coming up with ways to get money from folks whether it's a wealth tax or a surtax or trading tax to pay for, you know, uh, college for, for everybody and pay off their debts. Uh, a lot more of that uh, coming up with ways to get money for Washington than, than creative ways to try to save money in Washington. I fault both parties at that. And I, I just think if they apply a tenth the same time to, to spending ideas to try to get that under control rather than money to fund all that spending so they can keep it out of control, we're never going to get anywhere. Well, I actually completely agree with you on that, Neil. There is a lack of focus on how to be more efficient in how we spend money, and we do lack a focus on things like college. You know, the big argument right now is canceling student debt entirely. I don't know if an entire cancellation is a good idea, but we're not focusing on why is college so expensive in the United Wouldn't States? Wouldn't it be more expensive, though, Ethan, if all of a sudden these colleges and universities knew the government's picking up the check, they'll, st they'll keep gouging the students, right? Yes, and I think that you have to approach both sides exactly as you're saying. We need to address why these things are costing as much as they are. Why is it exceeding inflation at such a rapid rate for 30 plus years now? Right. And at the same time, we can recognize that, hey, kids that are coming out of college right now are absolutely swimming in debt, which is bad for the economy as well. So let's look at it from both sides, and I think we can do that. But during a primary season, we're really focusing, of course, on one and not the other. No, but right. I, do I do hope the other side comes in. All right, Ethan, thank you. Very good catching up with you. I apologize for the breaking news, my friend. And 